As always, we prime the model using Vallejo Model Air Gray Primer. Then the model is base coated with Model Air Black. Holding the airbrush at a 45 degree angle, game color Imperial Blue is sprayed onto the entire model. We want to concentrate the highlights on the helmet, the shoulder pads, and the backpack, so we add a little bit of Ultramarine's blue to the mix. Model Air White is added to the previous mix, and the highlights are built up even more. Again, add more white. Kept doing this back and forth until I got the highlight that I was looking for. Gloss varnish is then applied to the entire model, preparing for the washing step. A smooth surface is best for applying accurate washes. The wash is made up of equal parts of water, blue, and black ink. And instead of going over the whole model with a big brush, I'm depositing the wash directly into the cracks. The low surface tension of the gloss varnish makes for excellent capillary action. And the varnish also protects the model, so if you go a little crazy with the washes and you need to do some cleanup with alcohol, you don't have to worry about hurting the paint job that you already did. After I'm satisfied with the wash placement, I go ahead and seal it in, coating it with matte varnish. Since the highlights were pretty bright, I decided to put a glaze over the whole model using one drop of Imperial Blue, five drops of glaze medium, and two drops of water. Now the difference between a glaze and a wash is that a wash is applied to bring out detail, pre-shadow everything. Uh, a glaze is more as a what we call in the automotive industry as a candy coat. It's basically a clear coat that you can add color to and uh, change the hue of something. And it's not put on thick like washes. It's it's just made to uh, paint over things and, and uh, slightly alter the color. So that's what we're doing here, and that's the difference between a glaze and a wash. Foundation paint Mechrite Red is now painted onto the Crimson Fists.
skin color bloody red is then added to the Magrite red that was already on the palette and to keep in line with this photorealistic highlighting I did with the airbrush it's most of the highlighting is concentrated on the top parts of these pieces Using foundation paint Astronomican Gray, we go ahead and base coat the chest eagle. The purity seal paper is then hit with Citadel foundation paint Deneb Stone. And the Macrite Red is still wet on the palette so we go ahead and use it to hit the purity seal wax. Denim stone is then used to paint the skull on the backpack as well as the eagle on the bolter. Model Air White is then used to highlight the eagle on the bolter, the chest eagle, the purity seal paper, and the skull on the backpack. Game color brown ink is then applied to the skull in the backpack as well as the eagle on the bolter.
Vinaigrette Red is then painted as the base for our lenses. Game color Bloody Red is then used as our first highlight. Game color Orange Fire is then used as our second and final highlight. Then a dab of Model Air White is thrown into the back part of the lenses to show reflection. Model Air Black is then used to base coat everything that will be black or silver metallic. Extra opaque color heavy sienna is then applied to all the leather areas. This includes the pouches on the Space Marine's waist and the bolter strap. With the black paint dry, all the silver areas are painted with game color gunmetal. Base gravel is painted with extra opaque heavy brown watered down one to one with water.
While the base dries, we apply Game Color Brown ink to all the leather areas. Black ink is then applied to all the silver metallic areas. Game Color Skin Wash Ink, watered down with water one to one, is then applied to the base to give it a red hue. We want it to look brown, but not the same brown as our leather. While painting the pouches, I noticed that there was a grenade hiding, so it was hit with extra opaque heavy green. Then it was highlighted with game color goblin green. Now that the base is dry, using foundation paint denim stone, we dry brush from the inside of the base to the outside. Using a Sakura Micron pen, I apply the writing to the purity seal. Model Air Gray Primer is then used to highlight all the black areas.